Hi guys. What's up? So, uh, stuff and lots of it this time anyway for this vlog. Uh, so, I've been doing stuff and uh, most importantly I've been working on the Amazing Spider-Man minifigures as I made very clear in the last vlog. Um, but, I got stuff in the mail. First of all, before I go on to the main thing I got in the mail, I got this. You may not notice that big of a difference, but pretty much I just got a ton more of these um, Technic bricks, which are pretty much the foundation of the majority of people's mocks, and at least, uh, I think so. I like to use them anyway for the uh, underside, er, underside, the underneath portions of the mock because um, they're really sturdy and they make your mock really sturdy, and that's why I really like to use them. And I got it like they, I only got like literally 34 of them in the mail, but it's something. It's some sort of progression, but still not enough for a new update video. Um, I told you guys that once I finish the terrain, there will be a new update video, and that's what I'm sticking to. So as you can see, we're not exactly that close to a new update video yet because these Technic bricks still have to cover all of this area before I can even acquire the parts to finish the rest of it. Because I already told you guys, I don't have all the parts that I need to finish the rest of the terrain anyway, because all the parts I have over that I used over here, I don't have over here, so I don't want this part to be inconsistent with this part. So, therefore, no new update video on the Siege of Power City just yet. But that's why you guys are over here on MGF Extra, so you get to see everything regardless. Um, so... I have been exper experimenting with red paints. Uh, you might, you can see right there, I, I threw some paint on that 1x6. And uh, pretty much what that's for is I'm trying to settle on a red color to use for Spider-Man. Because you guys know uh, that I have been working my butt off on Sp Amazing Spider-Man 2 figures. And uh, you can see here I got the Green Goblin who I'm working on. He is turning out fantastic by the way. He's like easily my most detailed minifigure of 2014 and I'm really happy with him. He looks awesome. And then we've got Electro, who I did a little bit more on. Uh, and where did he go? I do not see him. I made Alexei Sistovich. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he's pretty much, he's the one who pilots the Rhino. Where did he go? I think I might have him over here. Uh, I don't know where I put him. Gosh damn it, because I just spent like two hours one night working on fully painting a face for him. And now I can't seem to find him. Where'd he go? There he is. Yay. Here he is. Pretty awesome. I showed him on Facebook, so no real surprise here, but he's still pretty freaking cool. And uh, that head is fully painted, and I'm really happy with the way that turned out. So, yeah. Alex I. Sistovich, Paul Giamatti's character. Uh, not sure if that's the right way you pronounce that name. It's a Russian name, so don't, uh, don't quote me on that pronunciation. But, uh, what else? Darth Revan. That was the other thing, the bigger thing, you know, the primary package that I was really excited about that came in the mail. And check it out, it's Darth Revan. He does not come out until May 3rd, and I've already got him, um, and he's just an amazing minifigure. And by the way, the review is up, link to my main channel is in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Um, but he's an amazing figure. He really is awesome. I am just honestly floored by the fact that we have an official Darth Revan from Knights of the Old Republic and the Expanded Universe books. This is just amazing, because Darth Revan is easily one of my favorite Sith Lords, and he has been for a long time. He's got an incredible story behind him, and I remember when he, he, he appeared in uh, The Old Republic in 2011, I was like, oh my god, a continuation of Revan's story. And I, I, that literally, I remember, it was just so exciting when I saw Darth Revan was actually in The Old Republic video game that came out in 2011. Um, but yeah, Darth Revan, an official minifigure of him. He looks friggin' awesome. And uh, yeah, so he came in. He is the May the 4th, uh, May the, yeah, the uh, Star Wars Day May the 4th exclusive minifigure, and that is pretty awesome because he's an amazingly famous Sith Lord, but he's not that well known amongst generic Star Wars fans, so I still have to question why LEGO wanted to make Darth Revan as a Star Wars Day exclusive minifigure. You th you'd think they'd make a different character, I don't know, like a like a more well-recognizable character, because then, you know, some kid is going to spend, like, a hundred bucks on uh, LEGO Star Wars sets with his parents in a LEGO store, and then they're going to be like, hey, here's this exclusive minifigure, and the kid's going to be like, well, who the fuck is that? So, I mean, I think it's great for people like us who know who Darth Revan is, and I think it, that's awesome. We, got, we have Darth Revan, but I mean, for people who don't know who Darth Revan is, it's just kind of like, what? But I mean, still, if you don't know who Darth Revan is, you need to know because he has an amazing story behind him. 
even though he existed like 3,000 years before Darth Vader. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog, though. I don't think there's really anything else that I really wanted to show you. I mean, there's Disco here, which I made a little bit of progress on, by the way. He'll be done soon, probably even my next video. Um, I'm, hunt I'm hunting down those Simpsons uh, series, so I mean, if you have a UPC for the Simpsons series collectible minifigures, be sure to let me know, because my Toys R Us is acting like they'll never get them, and that's kind of upsetting, because they're pretty cool, and I want to review them for you guys. Uh, so, given that Toys R Us is all over the place, are getting these Simpsons minifigures, aside from my Toys R Us, it's kind of depressing, so... If you have a UPC for the new Simpsons series collectible minifigures, or you know where you can find a UPC or something like that, that would be tremendous. That'd be a tremendous help for me. So drop that in the comments if you have one. But um, yeah, I got this at Walmart last night. By the way, this new Ninja Turtles set. I don't know. I saw Leonardo. Leonardo is my favorite Ninja Turtles. N Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtles. He's my favorite Ninja Turtle. So I just kind of grabbed this set. And uh, also the head, the headpiece on her kind of looked useful. So I decided to grab that set for like 12 bucks at Walmart last night. And, you know, I literally, that was my first Ninja Turtle set that I've ever picked up, ever. I have another Leonardo, and that's because when I saw that Ninja Turtles was going to be released as an official line, I was like, okay, I don't care about anything else, I just want Leonardo. So I literally ordered Leonardo on BrickLink, and that's how I already have a Leonardo minifigure. I don't have any other Ninja Turtle sets aside from Leonardo, but... Um, anyway, I got some new uh, dark bluish... Dark bluish gray? I'm like... Some new dark blue legs and some new dark blue blank torso. So this might mean the start of Spider-Man. So I have to fully paint Spider-Man's torso, uh, arms, back of his torso, and legs before the release date on May 1st. Even though I will be recording the showcase on like April 28th. So, yeah. I'm doing a lot. Even though it may not seem like it, I am. So, yeah. Alright guys. Now I think that's it for this vlog, and because he's never usually around, but he is now, we are going to say goodbye with the Mighty Cat of Fatness. You guys don't see him enough. Hey. Hey. W what's up? Hi. Agreed. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. He says goodbye. Therefore, I will too. Okay.